It was a successful first weekend for RTD's G-Line out to Arvada and Wheat Ridge. People lined up this weekend to take advantage of the new way to get downtown from the West Metro. It is free right now after all. But today the line will have its first real test with morning commuters. Denver 7's Micah Smith is riding the G-Line this morning right in the heart of rush hour now. Is it getting any busier? Yeah, Brian, it is getting a lot busier. We're seeing way more passengers than we saw during the first hour when I checked in with you. And I, you're right, it's because we're getting into that busy commute time. Now, if you're thinking about trying the G-Line, now is the time to do it because rides are free until May 12th. After May 12th, it'll cost you about $3 for a one-way ticket. The line begins at Union Station in Denver, has a total of eight stops ending at Ward Road in Wheat Ridge. The G-Line opens around 4 a.m. and will run until 1230 in the morning every 15 minutes during peak commute times and every 30 minutes during other time periods. This is an 11.2 mile commuter rail and is more than two years overdue, but RTD says that's because they're attempting to do something no other transportation department in the country has done before, and that's use positive train control on new railroads with safety features that help trains avoid collisions. We talked to one passenger who told us he's just happy the G-Line is here. It's going to be great because uh, it's a long ways from where I start for my starting point for work and it's about an $8 lift ride from the end of the line for the G line. So we've been waiting for this for a while now. RTD says now that most of the kinks have been worked out, transit agencies across the country can benefit from what RTD has learned by trying to get this G line up and running live from the G line. Micah Smith, Denver 7. All right. Thank you, Micah.